So hello and welcome back. This is Kutra Sam White Noise Trash and I'm Bjorn Jacobson. This here is the Y series and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about switches and how we can do footsteps with switches. Um, I have created a new folder and this new folder here has some new sounds which are almost identical to the walking ones that we had before but these are now for running which means that the samples are a little bit shorter and a little bit faster in, um, in pitch and in changing and so on we can try and check them out here so let's drag and drop the entire folder over here and say we want a random container here we go So this here is um, this here is just walking. And this here is running. Instead of uh, using the um, just altering the pitch or anything like that, I have actually created a new sample which I have made sure it sounds faster. Uh, in the long run, that'll, that'll give me a better result. Um, so let's see if we can make a system that can simply randomize between these two, so that we can we can create a system in our game where we can set a switch which will alter between these two. You can also use this for different materials, but right now we're just going to have a change between walking and running. Let's say in our game there is a parameter that tells us if we are walking or if we are running, but it only still only sends one event. One event that, um, that says play FS, like the event that we created over here. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going over here into game syncs. And in game syncs, you will have switches and a work unit, which is the default work unit. And here we're going to say, right click and say new child, we want a switch group. And this one we're going to call um, locomotion type. Let's call it that. And we right click again and say we want to add a switch. Let's call this one call it walking and we'll make another one called running. So now we have here a simple switch which has walking and running. Over here in our default mixer hierarchy we're going to make a sequence container, no, a switch container. Switch container here which we will be saying foot step type foot step type switch we'll call it that <clears throat> and inside it we're going to put both boots and boots running boots running so that this is when we press space and just press play on these and you'll see if we if we select our switch container here and press play like if I'm spamming the uh, the play button, nothing happens. So we are going to, in here, in the selected object, we're going to say that we want it to be controlled by the switch group, which is the locomotion type that we created in our game sync. And there's a default here, which is the default value, and let's put it to walking. Now down here, just as with the sequence container, you can now drag these over and say this one here's boots, we'll put that to walking, or we'll put boots running, there you go. You'll notice down here in our transport window, we are getting the option of the switch that we're using so that we can switch between walking and running. A smart little nifty trick is that once you have selected your event and you've made sure that it plays the correct container, then down here in your transport, you can lock it to this one which means that regardless of whatever I click over here, it won't change down here. So let's, if we say, if we unlock it, then every time I click something over here, you'll notice that it changes between all these. And maybe I want freedom to change something over in my audio side of things, and I don't want my event to be altered so that it plays a different event. So select the event, select that it, make sure that it plays, that it's set correctly to play whatever you want, and lock it in the transport. Now if we press play here, note that it plays walking. And if we set it to running, it'll play 
the running one that we have because it will automatically switch between the two over here. Now, as we did in the previous video, we're going to select here boots run and say we want it to have a randomized pitch of say not that much and not that much like that so that our running also has a certain kind of a little bit of randomization even though it has eight files inside. Um, I usually set it to shuffle and if, if there's eight files I don't want it to play the last five. And that way we make sure that we get it to sound proper here. So this here is just running and this here is walking. Now combined with, we added some locomotion detail like um, cloth moving and so on like that, we could actually make this sound pretty awesome. But to begin with, we're just gonna, gonna stick with this. Now, when we have this, we can also add another switch. Let's say if we wanna, in this case, this is a switch that controls just if he's walking or running, but what if we want to control uh, what material is he stepping on? Um, like if our game still provides only one event, but we have the option in code to detect what material are we standing on right now, so that we can swap between two files. Now let's um, let's try that. So I have um, two new folders here, which is boot metal walk and run. So let's the previous one. Let's say that was concrete, and now we have one for metal. So let's let's try this out. Let's gonna drag these two in here. Footstep type switch. These are both, it automatically set it to random containers if you're adding more than one folder at a time. Let's do that. And so now we have, oh, it's just because we have locked the event. That's very smart actually. So this here is boot running. It's a little slower. This here is boot walking. So let's let's just shuffle it here and say that it should play the last five. Now we only have a footstep switch, which is which is type. So we're gonna do like this, drag these out again here. So now we have a f say that this here is now walking. We're going to make a new switch container, which is called running. Drag boot run into there. Then we're gonna drag boot metal run to here and boot metal walk into there. Now, as you can see, we have two containers now, and they're both using using the, the walking and running, and we don't want that. So let's say that because we have normal and with metal. Well, concrete and metal. So we're going to over here in game sinks create a new switch. We're going to call it footstep material type. And we're going to be making a switch and we'll call it concrete. And a new one here called metal. These are very, like, if you really want it to sound good, you need very specific types of concrete, you need very specific types of metal and so on. That well, That's at least how I like to do it. Like, soft metal, hard metal, um, bending metal, metal stress, all these kinds of things. So over here in running, we're going to say that it's going to be using the switch type, locomotion type, and it's going to be a default of walking. So over here in our running here, we are going to say that it's material type, and it's this one here is concrete, and this one here is metal. So now it can swap between walking on concrete and walking on metal. And the same thing with the walking one here, we're going to say that this is no longer the locomotion type, this is now the material type, and it's going to be concrete by default. Here we go. And how do we then, because these are called walking and running, so how do we do that in combination with, does it know that we're walking or running? So 
we're going up here to be creating a switch container called, let's just call it footsteps really. Um, and now you can see there's walking and running in here, which both take into account what material is he walking on. So on footsteps here, we can say switch group, a locomotion type, let's say he's walking by default, and walking goes there, and running goes there. So now, over here in our event, we can say our event now plays the footstep container. Let's lock this one. Once we press play, it'll play the combination that's set right here. So let's, um, I'm pressing space to play the sound. Concrete walking, and let's say you suddenly start, start running, and then you change to metal, and then back to concrete, let's say metal running, and then you start walking over here. That means that if you can somehow, from your game engine, feed Ys with these parameters of the switches, then you can create a simple switch container like this and have a hierarchy like this, which can then switch between are we walking or are we running, or are we stepping on concrete or are we stepping on metal. And that's a very simple way of making house, which of how to make switches work. In the next couple of episodes, we're going to be looking at how we can dig a little bit deeper into that. I've decided to take this YouTube channel a little further than I used to do it, so I now have a, a Patreon channel. If you want to subscribe to that, you can do that. It's going to be in the links. I hate this promotional crap. Um, it's going to be there. Um, the thing is that that if there's any supporters, if there is any, then thank you very much because that's going to help me a lot in terms of making sure that I can afford spending all this time doing all these videos. Um, I really learn a lot from them making them myself, and I hope that you learn a lot from it as well. Um, hit the subscribe button, I think I'm supposed to say, <laughs> if you like. Um, in the next video, I don't know what we'll be talking about yet, but I'll come up with something. Uh, until next time, see you.